I'm glad to see you again. So it's me, Muhammad. Now, uh, now we'll solve this new mathematical issue, which we haven't seen before. First of all, we have to read information given below. Points A, B, C, and D lie on a single line in that order. It means that we have a single line here, and the order of these four points are the same, like given here, like A. B, C, and D. Here, four points. The length of BC is P percent of the length of AC. Like BC, we'll put it like P percent from AC. The length of BC is 25 percent of the length of CD. BC is 25 percent of CD. The length of BD is 50% of the length of AC. It means BD, this one, is 50% of the length of it's 50%, and AC is 100% regarded to this BD. What is P? We have to find out P. How many percent is this? First of all, we must find CD in terms of BC. CD is 100% and BC is 25%. It means that CD is four times larger than BC. So it will be 4BC. Uh, BD. BD is BC plus CD. So we know CD, we'll put it right here. So it will be BC plus 4BC. It equals to 5BC. Then we have to find out AC. AC, how we know, is twice BD because BD is 50% in terms of AC. C is 2. So B D. B D we find out right now here is five B C. So we'll we'll one minute five B C here. We'll multiply it by two by two. It equals to ten B C here. We know that B C is P. So we'll put it right here and we'll get 10p equals to 100%. Then we'll find out p because AC, how we know, is BC plus AB. And in all together, it's 10BC. So p will be 10%. Uh, so it's solution for this issue.